and uh, last time I had uh, uh, start off with this one, uh, 23, and we solved the first uh, two parts, uh, the equation of AD and CD and the coordinates of D. Today I will complete this question and I will solve the remaining three parts, the coordinates of E, the ratio of E is to B and the ratio of uh, the area of a triangle B C to the area of the trapezium. So first let me just write down the, uh, the answers of the ones that we found. Uh, the equation of AD, mm, which is here, this is the AD, this write this down. Uh, AD is 3y is equal to x plus 6 and the equation CD which is y equals to minus 3x plus 52 AD and CD and the coordinates D we did find this which is x is 15 and y is 7 the coordinates of the Okay, so now we, we need to find the coordinates of E. Now it says over here that the line AB produced meets the line DC. AB produced, if we extend this line and this line CD, it meets at point E. Since this is 90, so this will also make 90 degrees. And these two will apply. So you need to find the coordinates of E. What is E equals to X and Y? First thing that we need to find out. So we know the equation of AB, do we? No, we don't. So we need to calculate the equation of AB. We know CD. The equation of CD is known to us. This is CD. We need to find AB. We liquid the two equations and get the value of E. So first I will solve for equation AB. find the slope of this equation AB. Uh, actually we are finding the equation AB but since uh, B is a uh, point on AB so on AE so we can now find the equation for AB. Now uh, first let's find out the slope M. This we are finding for AB. M is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. So if this is x1, y1, the y2 is 2 minus 13 upon x2, 0 minus 3. Uh, this will give you minus 11 over minus 3. Minus and minus will cancel out. So slope is 11 over 3. So now we apply the equation y minus y dash is equal to m into x minus x dash. So y minus, let's take this coordinates, y dash is 2, slope is 11 over 3, x is 0. Uh, so we write x minus 0, value of this dash. So this will give us 3y minus 3 to the 6 is equal to 11x. So, or we can say 3y is equal to 11x plus 6. So this is the equation for AE as well. Now, we know the equation of CD, which is y is equals to minus 3x plus 52. Let's equate it to multiply this by 3. So this will give us 3y equals to 11x plus 6. And 3y is equals to 3, 3, 9. x plus 3, 5, uh, 3 to the 6 and 3, 5 to 15. We subtract it plus minus, this will cancel out, 0, 11 plus 9 will give you 20x and this will give you minus 150. So we take uh, 150 on the other side, 150 divided by 20 is equal to x. So 2, 7, uh, 14 and 8. So 7 and a half. This is the value of x. Now we substitute this in any one of these equations. Let's substitute in this equation. So we have 3y equals to 11x plus 6. From here we'll get the value of y. When we substitute the value of x as 
uh, 7 over 1 upon 2 that is 15 over 2 15 over 2 plus 6 so we take this to the other side well, let's take the LCM and then take 2 on the other side 2 3 is a 6 y is equals to 11 5 is a 55 11 is a 11 to 20 point 3 16 plus uh, 2 6 y cover so we get uh, uh, let's make it more simple and let's solve it 3 y is equals to 11 5 to 55 uh, 11 to 11 to 20 to 20 to 16 uh, plus 2 6 are 12 over 2 3 y is equals to 5 6 7 6 7 7 7 1 5 over 2 and uh, we take this over here which is uh, two, six, seven. the same cancel out 3 plus uh, 15, 6 plus 7, 7, 7, 27 or y is equals to 59.2 so there you go so we got the value of e as 15 over 2 and 59 over 2 so this is what you know, the coordinates of E is equals to. Now you need to find the ratio of A E and B E. A E and B E, the ratio. So for this we will apply the distance formula. Let me just erase this quickly. Now we need to find four oh, values of E. A E, two values. A E is equals to under root x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square so ae is equals to under root uh, x2 minus x1 that is 15 upon 2 minus 0 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 is 2 the whole square so from here we will get ae is equals to under root uh, 15 Upon 2 the whole square plus 259 to 4 the whole square. 15 15 is 225. 15 is 25. 5 over 5, 6, 7. 1 5 over 5. 1 over 5. Uh, 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 uh, 55 the whole square 55 times 55 5 times 25 5 5 12 7 8 9 10 it's be 3 0 2 5 and when you add this you get add it to 225 10 to 2 the 4 5 2 3 3 Two five zero upon four. This is what A E is equal to. Now in the same way we find uh, B E. Uh, B E. So B E will be equal to under root x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. So uh, 15 upon 2 minus 3 the whole square plus y2 would be 59 upon 2 minus 13 the whole square. So BE is equal to under root uh, 15 upon 2 that will give you 15 minus 6 upon 2 the whole square plus 59 minus 39 or oh, 26 26 upon 2 the whole square let me just write down the value of AE AE which we calculated before I raise it in the root 3 2 5 0 upon 4 so Now this will give us BE is equals to 
under root 15 minus 6 will give you uh, 9, 9 upon 2 the whole square and this will give you 9 minus 6 will give you 3 and 5 minus 2 will also give you 3 over 2 the whole square. So this will give you 9 times 81 upon 4 plus 33 times 33 is the 9, so is the 9. 9, 9, 9, 2, 9, 9, 18, 9, 10, 10, 1, 0, 8, 9, upon 2. So B, E is equals to, oh sorry, 1, 4. So you have, you know, you plus 81 to it. 10 to 8, 16, 17, 1, 1, 7, 0. So you have B, E is equals to, under root, 1, 1, 7, 0 upon 4. Now we need to take the ratio of A is to B. So it becomes more simple now. Once I make up with the value of A and B, so A is to B for the value of A. Okay, A is uh, under root 3250 upon 4, and B E we have 1170 upon 4. So the square root of square root will cancel out. So 4 and 4 will also cancel, 0 and 0 cancel, so you have 3, 2, 5 is to 1, 1, 7. Uh, I guess 3 will go into it? No. Uh, 3, 2, 5. Now what number will go into both the numbers? Uh, 3, 25 and 1, 1, 7. Uh, 3, 1, the 3, 3 is 24, 9, the 27, 28, 29, 32, 32, 9, the 27, 8, 29, 32, 9, 25, no. Uh, 117 and 325. So, what are the numbers that can go into both? Uh, 7, 1, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7. So, 3, 7, 9, 8, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. 3 can go to this, and in this you have 3, 1, 3, 3, 3, 7, 9, 10, 7. Anyway, simplify. In this way, 5, 6, 7, 8. Just one second. Uh, Thirteen, three, two, five, thirteen, thirteen to the thirty-six, thirty-six, which is very sixty-five. So thirteen twenty-five sir, and thirteen will go to hundred and seventy hundred ten. Thirteen, I think I see the twenty-seven and uh, nine ten. Yeah, nine ten. Right. So you have. Uh, 25 is to 9 and you can further simplify it since uh, this is both in the under root side uh, you can get the ratio of 5 5 is to 25 and 5 is to 3 25 is to 9 so I guess there you are I hope it is clear to you all and uh, the next part is very simple you have to find the ratio of the area of the triangles you can the area of this and the area of trapezium and the same way you find the ratio I hope to see you in the next lesson. Till then, take care.